So we were walking up the paint. The paint looks really good under here. The glass has been redone. Uh, the stripes, the decals, the chrome, the stainless, uh, the bezels, the grill, like all of this stuff's been redone on the car. And then I like to do this mirror finish. You know, when you're doing white paint, it makes it hard because you're using white paper on it and it doesn't really reflect well in it like black does. But you can see the letters are nice and crisp. And this is really, really nice, shiny paint. Uh, and under the lights at a car show, it would be awesome. All right, so whether you want to go to a car show and show off the detail here or not, uh, this is actually a little early for us to display it, but it just came in and I want to get the video out here. What we have here is a beautifully detailed engine compartment, including all the electronics, vacuum canisters, emissions controls are in place, which is kind of cool, all right? Uh, all that's right there. Factory air conditioning. Uh, the couple pieces that are missing are the original style air cleaner. So I don't know if you want that. I'm going to put it on the car. I think it should have it because when you open the hood, it just looks so great under here. But everything is detailed, man. It's all nice and new. The tag is still on the car over here. Uh, what we call the fender tag for GMs. We call it a fender tag here because it's bolted to the fender uh, with all the options that are on it. We also have the Marty report on this car. It is super, super low production figures. And that's why when you look at some of the things that are here, you'll see why. Uh, it's really, really rare. All right, so we talk about restoration. Let's talk about restoration, right? Why do I want to spend time back here? Because this is where people take shortcuts. For instance, this has a new chrome bumper. It has new rubber overriders there, new Ford emblems, new decal kit, all right? Uh, new polished stainless here, taillight bezels, the lights are working. You're like, Tone, aren't the lights supposed to be working? Yeah, they are supposed to be working. They don't always work when we get these cars. This worked, and this is one thing I wanted to show you. It's super, super nice. A lot of times when cars are old, the tailgates are a pain to get open. They're just rusted out or whatever, and this was just like this, watch. It just opens so easily. Nice folds down, because it's got uh, this system in it that makes it so it doesn't slam down, right? Okay, and this is still the originator of the tailgate party. All right, when you own one of only 38 built in the world, how many are left? This could be the only one. Don't know that answer, but it could be the only one. Let's get inside and see why it's one of 38. All right, so you hear that noise? That's an annoying noise. However, it's a soothing noise and an exciting noise to me, and I'll tell you why. That's the key in buzzer. Most people who restore a car never make those things work because it takes a lot of effort to make all that work. The footwell lighting normally doesn't work. The footwell lighting is working here as well, right? This has a, an amazing set of gauges in it. The brome interior, first off, is really, really nice and comfortable. And it's cool because you can seat two or you can throw in another person here. There's another seatbelt for seating for three, okay? Back to the dash, you have a full speedometer. This has a tachometer. It has a full array of gauges for amps, fuel, temp, oil, right? Air conditioning and climate control over here. It has an upgraded digital audio system. This doesn't have to be here if you don't want it. We can take that out. Uh, but it does have uh, a stereo that looks like an old school stereo. However, it's digital uh, inside there. Steering wheel here with the cruise control. That's still, the buttons are on it. I haven't tried out the cruise control, but it's cool in the fact that this is all nice. It's not cracked up like most so many others. New dash, headliner. Uh, it's got the jack and jacking instructions that are back here too. You say, well, Tone, uh, those sound like things that are uh, should be in there anyway. What's the big deal about that? Well, the truth of the matter is they're never in cars. We never get jacks and, and the packs that go with them and door panels as nice as this and a steering wheel that's still fully restored. I get excited when I see this because I know the effort it takes to get there. This is a super, super nice interior. All right, so let's close up the video on a cool, cool muscle car, all right? So uh, what is the likelihood of seeing a Ranchero GT that's been restored at a car show? Probably slim to none. Then throw in the Brome, throw in all of the convenience features that this has uh, with the air conditioning and the disc brakes and power steering, the, the big rear end of the car, right? Heavy duty transmission. This is set up to be a performance car. It goes really, really well. It looks super cool. And sound like for the people in behind you who just got smoked by you, how about you go check it out in here? Hey, you guys, thanks for joining me on the Ranchero GT test drive. 
you know, man, this is a memory maker. You say, well, Tony, why is it a memory maker? What's that mean to you? What's the, what's the memory part of it? Well, first off, I've lost my memory. But what I do remember is that people who had El Caminos and Rancheros, they were a different kind of people. They were cool. A lot of times their grandparents or their dad had one, and they like to carry that tradition on. This thing rides so nice. You talk about a, a, a muscle car with the brome interior. Listen, do you hear any rattles or squeaks? Nothing. Tight. Drives well. Functional. Can you imagine throwing some chairs in the back and going to a 4th of July celebration watching the fireworks sitting in the bed of this? Who else gets to do that? The other people got to sit on the grass and whine because their pants got dirty. You wouldn't have to do that. You could own the Rift Ranchero and be sporting it just like this. Anyway, hope you had fun on the drive. I'm having a great day. The weather is stunning. We need to find a way to get this in your garage.